I thought I'd give you an update on my uh, last few days before the uh, walk coming up. So I'm going to show you what the center is like. So here we go. Block for a minute. <laughs> and here's the director. I'm the executive director. And what happens here at Corona Life Services? What happens where? Here at Corona Life Services. Well, what do you do? Um, we, uh, we touch a lot of lives every day here and a lot of interesting things, a lot of highs, a lot of lows. Uh, a lot of, but it's a good time and, and a, great, a great team that works here. So. Thank you, Buzz. We are with uh, one of the board members, the president, in fact. And how are you doing today? I'm doing good. It's how are Kathy you? Ray. Hi. What do you think about Corona Life Services Walk? Oh, one of the best events of the year. Imagine being around 600 to 1,000 people who all love life. No, don't eat the baby. <laughs> who all love life and, um, yeah, are out walking. Every life matters. Glenn Finn, what do you oh, do here hi. at the center, Kristen? I do outreach for Corona Rise Services, which also means I do a lot of planning for fundraisers, like our Walk for Life that is happening this Saturday. We hope you can all come out and be there. I need you to be there and just be here for life. Here's Kelly. She's one of our nurses, and this is where she does all the sonograms. Hello. So is it, what do you do when the gals come in here? They uh, see their babies at what ages? Um, six weeks to almost 13 weeks. Yeah. Very exciting. It's a see heartbeats. Wow. So this is where it happens. And a lot of people change their mind from abortion to having, keeping their baby. So this yes. is an exciting operation here. Definitely. Thank you. So there you hear it. This Saturday, October 1st, we're having the Walk for Life. And I have just a few more days that you could help by sponsoring me. I really appreciate it. So... If you can make it out there, we're glad to see you. If not, help us out by giving us a sponsorship. Thank you very much. God bless you.